Welcome back for another episode with your favorite Project Lead the Way teacher, Mr. Spaeth. Today we're going to go through number two in 4.1G model creation of the IED Project Lead the Way curriculum. So let me share my screen with you and we can get started. So we finally, we just got done with part number one. So we can click this little X over here so as to get rid of it. Um, looking at our part that we're making for number two, what you must notice is that all dimensions are now in so that means when we start a new file we need to go to instead of English metric standard millimeter part file and we're going to create so we are going to start this part again by making a brick of clay think of it like uh, that is 60 millimeters wide and 40 millimeters tall. We're then going to extrude that back to 30 millimeters. So 60 by, I believe I said 40. 60 by 40. Again, double clicking my center button so as to get that all on my screen. Finishing my sketch, zooming out and panning over. Extruding to three millimeters. So here we go. We have our initial brick. We are going to subtract this little slot here, and we're going to subtract that little opening over here. Let's start off with this slot on top. We're going to create a sketch on this surface, and we're going to start a rectangle on the top line, so that is constrained to the top line. 15 millimeter tall by Oh, we're just going to start at 10 millimeters over, over from the side and, 20, and end at 25 millimeters over uh, from the right-hand side. So again, they could have just the width here. They didn't. And so we're going to use the dimensions that they have to make our part. So start a sketch on this surface. I'm going to start a rectangle up on the top. Just going to make it any width for right now. My height, I believe, was supposed to be 15. It's supposed to be 10 millimeters over from the side and 25 millimeters over from this side. So let's see if that's correct, if I didn't get anything wrong. So 15, 10, and 25. Notice our rectangle is all constrained. It is all purple, so we are good to finish our sketch. Extrude. It did not find our part, so we're going to pick it. We're going to cut it through a distance of all. The next thing that we need to do is start a sketch on this side. And we will, and we will uh, create out of this part. So it's going to be 15 millimeters wide and 10 millimeters tall. So again, we'll start a rectangle. I'll dimension it here. So I said 15 wide and tall. Notice what may happen is when you first dimension this, you may have part of your square outside of the block of clay that we made. Uh, what you're going to want to do is just drag that over. So grab either this line or this line and drag it over. If you drag these two lines, you can drag it just up and down. You can't go over. So, okay, so just make sure it's right here so we can add in our other two dimensions. We're going to have, it's going to be three millimeters from the left-hand side, and it's going to be five millimeters from the bottom. So three and five. And again, that didn't work out for me, so we'll just try again. So three and five. And notice we're all purple. We're all constrained. Finish the sketch. And this gets, again, extruded through all. So notice if I just leave it right here, it goes through a distance of 30. That doesn't get me the whole way. Distance of all so that it goes through the whole thing. And click OK. And that should be it. We've used all of our dimensions. And our part is fully constrained. And we can file Save as. 
we should go right to our homework file here now, um, but we will go to 4.1G number 2, and we'll save. So I hope you like this. I hope this helps out. Please let me know if you have any questions, if I can help you out in any way. Thank you.